Hi, welcome back to Satoku Tech. I find that I have a lot of these LilyGo, TTGo, Laura 32, 915 megahertz ESP32 boards. They have the long range radio with a one inch OLED display. So we're gonna fire these up and do a range test. We're gonna use Yogo Git's Laura 32V10. And to use that, you need the Arduino LoRa library and the OLED SSD 1306 libraries. So in the GitHub site, make sure to download the zip. And again here, code, download the zip. And again here for the ESP display, code, download zip. And I've got those all downloaded right here. So now in Arduino, we're going to import the two libraries that are required. Okay, so we have these downloaded here, and now we're gonna open Arduino IDE and install the two libraries. Click on Sketch, Include Library, Add Zip Library. We get the OLED SSD 1306. All right, Sketch. Include library, add zip library, and we get the Arduino LoRa master zip. Now again here, because we're working with ESP32, in the preferences under additional board manager URLs, you're going to want to have this dl.espressif.com dl package under bar ESP32 index JSON listed there so that you can go into board manager and you want to make sure that you have the ESP32 board manager installed from Espressif and you see we have that. So now we can actually choose the TTGO LoRa32 OLED V1 as the board. Now the remaining library here the TTGO LoRa 32 V10 Master Zip. I've just extracted this folder here and placed it in the Documents Arduino folder right here. And we're going to open the transmitter and receiver program directly from here. I found that having this folder inside the library folder generated an error, and so I pull it out here to the Arduino folder, we get no error. It'll compile just fine and we can load it onto our TTGO LoRa boards. So before you load this and run it on your TTGO LoRa board, you're going to want to install the antenna. So let's do that right now. Okay, so I'm just getting out the antenna pieces. I'm going to assemble this part first. Here we go, the antenna is assembled. You see the tiny little plug on that end. Let's get this plugged into this board. It seemed like it was easiest if you do it sideways like that. There we go. It actually snapped. You can see it actually pivots. So there, that's how you install the antenna. And make sure you install the antenna before you install the software or else you could burn out your radio. Okay, so we've installed our antennas on our TTGO LoRa boards and now we're going to load the receiver and transmitter programs. I'll plug in one of these here. You want to make sure you have the correct serial port selected. And we're going to go ahead and upload it. Okay, so it's loaded up and let's watch this one fire up here. This is the receiver. And so now we're going to load the transmitter. Again, I'm just going into this TTGO LoRa32 V10 master folder and opening transmitter from there. Let's make sure we got the right COM port. Yeah, we're going to upload it now. So you see here, basically the transmitter is transmitting the word hello and then the value of this counter, which is the number of packets that have been sent. Okay, so the transmitter is loaded up, so let's see these two boards in action. One's the transmitter and one's the receiver. Okay, so you can see the sender sends packet 2, the receiver receives packet 2, and so on. Okay, so next we're going to do the range test. 
Okay, so next we're going to do the range test. Okay, so we're out in the field here. My wife's back in the park. You can't even see her from here. It's at the top of the hill on the other side of the park. We're still getting a signal here. The RSSI is reading 122, but we're still counting up. We'll keep walking. Okay, so you can see here the count's not going up. Oh, there, I just got a signal. These cars may be blocking. I dropped a few packets along the way. Almost made it to Broadway. I'm just going to walk up to the corner to make it official here. Okay, so I'm at the corner of Broadway and Langley. Let's see if I can get a signal. I'm getting sporadic signals this far out. Yeah, see, I'm still getting signals here and there. 99. 600. So for that test, we got four tenths of a mile and I really wanted to get a full half mile. So we tried this particular run here at Reed Park. I stood up on the corner at Broadway and Randolph Way and my wife drove to the parking lot here in the middle of the park. But there was still like a clump of trees that were in the way. We didn't quite get line of sight. I was getting sporadic signals while we were over a half a mile away, but I want to try one more time just to satisfy my own curiosity to see if I can get a full half mile reliably with these uh, devices. Okay, I don't know if you can see these numbers or not, but we're just not quite a half mile. We're really close to a half mile. And I am getting a good signal, RSSI's at uh, 119. I got my hello 799, hello 800. So it is clicking up here. We're 300 feet short of a half a mile. Yeah, there's a few trees in the way, but I think this is about as good as we're going to get under these conditions. Certainly, if we could get like a perfectly clear skyline, total line of sight like having one up in the air and one on the ground which is what we'll really look to try next so stay tuned okay well i hope you've enjoyed watching me work with these lily go tt go laura 32 boards this is the 915 megahertz version which is good in the united states for unlicensed communication you want to be a good player and not run these incessantly and interfere with other people's laura communications but i figure out in the field these will probably work fine for my purposes. Thank you very much. Give this video a like. Click down below for the links in the description. Click up here to subscribe. And click over here to check out the TTGO playlist. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching Shitoku Tech. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.